welcome back to a brand new vlog of Bonkers Note. This is Utsav with my wife Urvi behind the camera. Today we are going to go for a food tour in Kolkata and what better way to start than a piping hot tea on our roadside shop in Kolkata. It's a late back Sunday in Kolkata. Just saw some kachoris getting fried over there. But we'll skip the breakfast and go straight to Armenia from here to have some delicious biryani. If you are in Kolkata, one of the things that you must try is a biryani. And Armenia here is a very popular name in Kolkata. It was established in the year 1929. So you can imagine how old this restaurant is and it serves amazing biryanis so let's go in and dig into that amazing biryani the Armenia restaurant that we are going to visit right now is in central Calcutta in this planet area and it is very near to the elite cinema hall so if you come here you will be very readily able to locate this place it's very popular and it's always hustling and bustling inside there we have ordered some mutton biryani two chicken chop and tandoori rotis and with that we have cold drinks to chase it down and this is supposed to be a grand feast the biryani out here is really kolkata style biryani with potato inside boiled soft potato and a soft piece of mutton It's really a aromatic rice biryani. Along with it, we have some soft potato. Potato is supposed to be the real essence of Kolkata style biryani. This is somewhat similar to the Awadi biryani if you had that before. But I believe Kolkata biryani has its own unique flavor. Just look at that mutton piece. Wow, it's dream come true. Just amazing it is. The chicken meat is almost mixed with the gravy of the chop. It's so flavorful. I can just smell the flavors. What I really like about this restaurant is that the spice level is very very low. If you are new to Indian cuisine and still want to try some biryani and chicken chop, you are afraid of spice, this is the place to be. having the tandoori roti and it's so soft and with the chicken chop it's making an awesome combination though it's a bit oily but the taste cannot be beaten it's extremely tasty and very flavorful this combination is a must have and also the biryani with the chicken chop is also a great combination so you can try anything you want oh we are just coming out of Armenia after having some biryani and now we'll just go on to the next spot We are standing in front of the KC Tars. We are here for some Bengali sweets, their speciality. Let's go in and eat. We are sitting at KC Das confectionery that is at Chorangi Crossing. And we have ordered this huge jumbo sized rasgulla and a mango mishti doi. Sweet is a very integral part of Bengali cuisine and here we are having the famous Kolkata Roshogolla and a Mishti Doi. So let's taste it first. It's 
so creamy and delicious it just melts in the mouth it's so tasty i can't explain it you have to try it to know how the taste is now let's move on to some kolkata famous rasgullas it's very soft and nice and the sweetness that is there is not that overpowering it's very tasty and fulfilling and it's a speciality here in kesi das so you have to try a rasgulla if you are here. we had some wonderful sweets at kesi das and right now we'll be moving on to the next destination It's sundown now. We have completed the boat ride and right now it's ice cream time. We'll go into the scoop and check out some of their delights. If you are in Prince of Ghat, you have to get some ice cream. And scoop is a very old ice cream joint and here we are with some chocolate caramel scoops. Let me try it. It's amazing. Who doesn't love an ice cream? It has a great taste with lots of chocolate sauce and brownies. Let me enjoy it. I have the famous kuchka or the pani puri as it is popularly known. I am having it right now. It's very tasty. Kuchka is very famous in Kolkata. You must try it. As you can see, it's very crowded. People love it here. and the one we tasted were so nice tasty and tangy this place is just in front of city center 1 and you can find numerous hutka stalls in every corner of the city so don't miss it please do try it at one point Now you are standing in front of the Indian coffee house and this is a hot spot for the locals and this is our destination in itself let's go in and have some food In College Street area one of the must visit stops is Indian coffee house This place seems like it's stuck in time and the old school vibe of it makes it very interesting and a must visit place. This place was built in 1876 and it's going strong for 145 years now. And we are here today we really feel this to be a great opportunity for us. We have ordered two coffee and fish kaviraji which is very famous here. I think it's a great bite. We have the fluffy egg coating on the outside. Inside is the red ki fish. That is the fish fry base. And on top of that we have oily fluffy coating. While in coffee house we have to try their coffee. So here we have a cup of coffee. Let me have a sip. it's very strong and the sugar is not there so i am quite liking it because i prefer my coffee without sugar it is always nice we just came out of indian coffee house and here the prices also seem to be stuck in time along with the place it is a very cool experience From coffee house in College Street we came to Sam Bazaar 5 points to have some mutton kassa in Golbari at Sam Bazaar 5 points. We will go in and check out how they make that mutton kassa. It's very famous out here. It's a very old food joint and people come here in numbers. But the place for sitting arrangement here is very less. But nevertheless that doesn't stop anyone from coming here.
the fish chop that we have ordered. Let me taste it with that sauce. It is a mustard sauce. It's very strong in taste. Let's try it out. It has a crunchy coating outside and a stuffing inside with fish and there is no smell of the fish. It's very fresh it seems and it tastes very good. There is a whole lot of fish stuffing inside well blended with the masala and it tastes quite yum. There is also some salad along with it so that we can enjoy it with the salad and the sauce. In Bengali mutton kasa, the meat is braised with spices, tomatoes, onions, yogurt for a very long time to give that flavor. Let me try some paratha along with that mutton gravy. I took a nice fatty portion of that mutton. And all I can say is the search for ultimate Bengali mutton kasa ends here. This is absolutely gorgeous. The flavor is so soothing in my mouth. Everybody says that spice is too high, but I think it's perfect to my liking. I heard a lot about Golbari's Kosha Mangsho and I just had it. I had heard that this one is very spicy but it was not that spicy for my taste maybe. I loved it. It's amazing and a must try. From here we'll move on to Park Street which is a happening place in Kolkata. So right now we are going to try some roll and we are going towards the Kusum rolls and they are really famous out here. They are serving rolls in all shapes and sizes and varieties. Since 1971 we'll go out and try some. So let me have the first bite of the egg chicken roll. The paratha outside is really very soft and inside we have this delicious soft chicken meat. It's wonderful. They have used lots of black pepper, some garam masala and they have given lots of onions and chilies. It's very flavorful. It's really a delight to have a roll here out in Park Street. Just check out that crispy oily paratha that is wrapping up those chickens inside. Those chicken pieces are really really very juicy and soft. The roll that you find in Kolkata is unlike any other roll that you can find in the entire world. It's very flavorful and here at Kusum Roll they are very well cooked. The chicken inside is very soft and the outer coating is very crispy. It's a burst of flavor inside my mouth. I am really loving this. We will be going inside the Olive Pub to have some booze and dinner. Let's go in and have some fun. So right now we are in Olive Pub. This place is really happening and really famous in Park Street area for some cheap booze. It's ultra famous with the youngsters, especially college going crowd. Urvi is doing the honors here. She is cutting that ala keys and I like the way it sits on the bed of those green peas. Oh, oh it's just oozing with butter.
chicken a la kifs is supposed to be a ukrainian or a russian dish and i'm not really sure how it made into the kitchens of kolkata but this is really delicious this is pounded chicken coated on butter on top of that they have given a coating of egg and breadcrumbs this is absolutely fabulous and a great accompany with any drinks Next up is the prawn chili with loads and loads of onions and capsicum as i can see Chinese cuisine has always been very famous in Kolkata and the chili prawn is very famous in Olipop so we had to try it It's very spicy but it's very flavorful. The taste is very unique and different. There are lots of onions, shredded green chilies, shredded garlics, capsicum and a whole lot of black pepper. I must say this is really adding to the spice level. It's a real punch to the environment that we are having. Kolkata Flurries is a famous name. It was established in 1927 and it is a famous bakery and confectioner. Mainly people come here for breakfast, but today here we are for some desserts. Let's go in and try some amazing yummy desserts. It's a really nice experience to have flavor of rum and chocolate all together blended to make that beautiful rum ball. The rum ball has always been one of my favorite pastries. And here the gooey chocolate flavor is infused with the rum so well. and it's so delicious it's a must try here in sudis bengalis love their tea and if it is a darjeeling tea then it's always a must have so we are having a cup of darjeeling tea here it's so flavorful it is very nice Tea time is always my favorite and that too in a confectionery here in Park Street. This tea is very very famous and I can feel that from the first smell that I got. Lots of lemon hint and and lots of sweetness of the flavor the way a tart should be. Very flavorful and it's really tasty. So we had some lovely dessert and now we are going to end this vlog today in Kolkata. Hope you like what you see. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel Bonkers Note and do follow us if you want to see contents like this in future.